Hello everyone. Uh, I want to make a short video sermon video with you today. Today is Thursday, the fifth of November. Um, I touched on this a little bit last night, Wednesday night, um, on it, but I wanted to say more about it today in this sermon video. Um, this may not be published until the seventeenth, so it might be twelve days from now or something, but. Anyway, I'm going to be in Jeremiah 18, 1 through 4 uh, in the King James Version of the Bible to start off with. And it says, The word of the Lord came, the word, the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise, go and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred, in the hand of the potter, so he made it again another vessel, so seemed good to the potter to make it. Again, verse 4 says, And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hands of the potter, so he made it again another vessel that seemed good to the potter to make. Um, you know, it just struck me that that he didn't throw it away. Uh, and I appreciate the fact that when I'm on the wheel, that if I'm not doing ex coming out exactly like he wants, that he won't throw me away, that he will put me back on that wheel. The wheel is not too comfortable, but that's where we need to be sometimes. I heard a story uh, about a man. He was touring a foundry of some sort, and he was standing there, and the tour guide was showing in this big chamber oven or whatever, that they was heating this metal. And the tour guides told the man to and said, can you wait right here just a minute? I'll be back. I'll be right back. And uh, so everything will be okay till I get back. So the man, he's standing there watching, and he gets to hearing this noise, and it's popping and cracking, and uh, for lack of a better word, belching. And uh, he really got uh, nervous about it. And he sees the the tour guide coming back and he can't wait and he says hurry 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 he said this thing's about to blow he said turn it down turn it down it's about to it's about to explode and the tour guide said no i i don't need to turn it down i need to turn it up what's the noise what that noise is is the baser elements that's complaining and squawking and yakking uh about the heat so if i turn it out turn it up i will filter those out and and be left with the good. And that's what's happening to us. Whenever God turns up his heat, he's not trying to kill us. He's trying to uh, filter out the bad, uh, the things that, that we don't need on us, the dross. Psalms 9, 9 through 10 says, The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they will know Thy name will, and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. God is not in the business for tossing people aside. He's in the business of fixing damaged people. Uh, he don't want to get rid of us. That's not his will. That's why he keeps putting us back on the wheel. Uh, he wants us to succeed. Um, of course, if we go against him and, and sin, he has no choice. But as long as we're trying to do the right thing, he will just put us back on wheel. The wheel is not pleasant. That thing is spinning and spinning. And, uh, you know, it's like myself. I I never was one that liked these rides, these roller coasters and these uh, whatever you want to call them. Uh, not for me. Uh, I just didn't enjoy it. But when he, he, he wants to change us, so it would behoove us to change as soon as we can so we don't have to keep putting us back on the wheel. He wants to heal us. He wants to transform us. He wants to uh, He wants to make us better. I heard a story, uh, read a story that said a man was parked on the side of the road. His car had broken down and he had the hood up trying to figure out the problem. A limousine pulled up behind him and a man got out. Dressed from head to toe like a million bucks. He walked over to the driver of the broken down car and said, Do you need help? 
The man, of course, said yes. The man from the limousine tinkered around with the engine a bit. And to the other man's surprise, the car started right up. The car's owner was beyond grateful, and he asked how much he owed. While there was many very, while there are many variations of the story, uh, one of them said nothing. I'm Henry Ford. I'm the creator of the car. It really bothers me to see one broke down on the side of the road, not doing what I created it to do. I believe it bothers God when He created us for success and created us to help other people when we're not doing just that. Uh, the the creator longs for his creation to be successful. Trust the Lord today. Uh, be encouraged. If you continue to trust him, God will not let you fall. He will not let you stumble. He will not let you wobble. He will walk you out of your desert standing tall. Uh, Isaiah 29 16 through 18 says, Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, He made me not? Or shall the thing formed say of him that formed it, He hath no understanding? Is it not yet a little while in Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field? And the fruitful field should be esteemed as a forest. And in that day shall the death hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall be see out of obscurity and out of the darkness. What's happening to us sometimes is uh, we're in a spin cycle, just like a washer when it gets in the spin cycle. Um, when I look back on the last 20 years of my life, it, it just seemed like a blur. It's been a big spin. It's been 20, over 20 years. Uh, we came to Meridable in June of 2000 so this past june i think it was like the 23rd we've been there 20 years and uh and like i said it, it just seemed like a blur uh in the last 20 years we've had children that was born it's that's on their own now and uh uh the spin cycle doesn't give you the luxury of being comfortable it's not that good things don't happen in a spin cycle, but it's just that you're going so fast you can't fully appreciate the benefit. You don't have long to grieve. You can't take off three years because your mother died or because life is coming at you. You can't take a recess from life. There's no timeouts. Uh, you can't fast forward. You can't rewind. So you, it's, so if you've got to cry while driving to work, everything else has to keep going. The world's spinning faster and faster, faster, and with this recent election, we're headed towards something fast. You really don't know what it is in its entirety, but you have a clue of what it is from the book of Revelations. Uh, it's like we've got a foot stuck on the gas pedal, and we're racing faster and faster. It's like a merry-go-round. Uh, I heard a old song said, stop the world and let me off. That's the way it feels sometimes. Uh, and we've got so where we can do complicated things well, but we've lost our ability to do the simple things like worship and praise the Lord. We do complicated things like computers, cell phones, put a man on the moon. Uh, but we can't do simple things like sleep because we've got so much on our mind and we're in the sense spin cycle. Can you imagine what it feels like to be the clay on the spin cycle? It's a combination of the spin spinning and the, and the touch of the the potter uh, and that forms the vessel a touch without the spinning will leave a hole and a spinning without the touch will just be confusion without formation we are made in the spin when God gets ready to make us he puts us in a spinning environment I, I, I don't I must confess I don't like to be a part of something that you can't control um, you don't get a, to choose how you get tested or, or who will get sick. You can't choose who's going to die or who's going to break your heart. And again, he said, the word of the Lord came to Isaiah from the Lord saying, arise, go down to the potter's house. And there 
I will cause thee to hear my words. And I went down to the potter's house, and both holy wrought work on the wheel. And the vessel he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter, so he made it again another vessel. Uh, after God got through with me on the spin cycle, it was me, but it wasn't me. That fellow was wearing my clothes, living in my house, but he wasn't the same man anymore. After June the 10th, 1977, parked in my garage, but he had a new attitude. They call me by, still call me by the same name, but I'm a new guy. I'm not the same guy. So the potter can decide whether to reshape something or remake it. I'm so thankful that when he saw how broken I was, he didn't discard me. You know, God doesn't need my vote to bless you. We just come through the election and he doesn't need your vote to bless me. And even when I vote against you or you vote against me, he can raise us up anyway because my vote don't count in his council. Everything seems upside down in the spin cycle. And sometimes maybe the clay might wonder if the potter knows what he's doing. And the, pot, and the clay complains about the spin cycle. But who are we to question the potter? You wouldn't even have the opportunity to be in the spin cycle if the potter hadn't chose you. You wouldn't nothing until the potter got a hold of you. Don't question the spin cycle. I have tried to learn to be contented on the wheel. God is, it's like God is saying, I'm not, I'm not spinning you to punish you, but I'm trying to transition you and, and form you. We, we couldn't be celebrating 20 years at Maryville if we hadn't learned to be consistent in the spin. The reason many of us keep losing things is we have learned, not learned to be consistent in the spin. And the reason you can't be consistent in the spins is you, you, you're controlled by your moods. When you're in the right mood, you're amazing. But as soon as you get used to, as soon as we get used to you being amazing, your mood switches and changes. We, I call them yo-yo Christians. They're up and down. You never know where to find them. God can't trust you because you keep operating on how you feel. When you feel good, God can trust you. But nobody can invest in anything that they can't trust. You know, sometimes we come to church for what we can get. And it never crosses our mind to come to church for what we give. You know, a, a taker may eat better, but a, a giver's going to sleep better every time. Um, I have enjoyed trying to get this to you. I hope, um, hope you're doing well. I care about you. I love you. I'm going to give you my phone number, 256-508-4410. And if you could leave me a message. I might not get back to you right away, but I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So may God bless you is my prayer, and I hope this helps you in some way. If there's anything you need or want me to address, let me know, and I'll see if I can get God to help me. May God bless you.